So I don't know what's changed. Apparently there's a new update. I have no idea. So let's see what's changed. Because I, I have seen there's like a really big... Ooh. This is different. Oh. That's nice. Oh, that's real nice. Oh, that is brilliant. It's a really simple, simple feature. But I really like this. I'll be honest, I really like that. What's this? Bakery. Ha! Huh? Bakery. Sure, we'll give cakes a go. What's this, cakes? Ooh, there's cakes now. Okay, we'll give this a go. Customers order cakes by flavor. Stir them with any cake of the correct flavor. Recipes can be viewed. Oh, this might be tricky. Wow, 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 wow. That's a lot to remember. Uh, am I worried? A little bit. A little bit. Not overly, mind you, but I am... Now I'm panicking. Nah, it should be fine. It should be fine. I'm a master chef. Uh, that is a lie. I did just lie. I apologize. So, okay, we got all the stuff in here. I might do a trial day to see what it's like making this stuff. Okay, so it said bowl, egg, flour. I could definitely move this stuff into another room. Sugar, and then mix it together. Okay, what do you want? Oh, I didn't anticipate. I thought that was a not. Okay. I thought that was like one of these up here. Oh, you just want chocolate? You want chalky? You want chalky cake? Oop. Okay. Oh, I see. And I put it on that. Okay. I get it. And then this goes in here. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's a bit confusing at first, but it's actually not bad at all. Okay, we can leave practice mode. I want to move these tables around a little bit. This is going to be my closet room for calls, which I'm not ever going to do because I don't like phone calls. So I'm never going to call anyone ever again. And then wise words of George Michael. I'm never going to dance again. Guilty feet have got no rhythm. Not related to the phone thing, but uh, it's just on the minds, you know, just on the minds. Anyway, so, all right, taking what we've just learned here today, chat. We're going to take some flour. We're going to knead it. We're going to put... That was immediately wrong. All right, never mind. I made a boo-boo, chat. Already fucked up. You get the flour. Put that in bowl. You get egg. You break egg. Put that in bowl. You ask him what he wants. He has a little party hat. He wants chalky. Okay, so I was correct. All they can ask for is chalky. So I burn, I, I cook the chocolate, not burn it. I cook the chalky, put this, I knead this all together. They eat the spoon and all, put that in there, bam. Okay, that's not right. I do that, yes. And then put this in there. There we go, all right, I got it. So you guys just want, okay, so they all just want chocolate. Good to know. This would be good if I had a tray as well to carry this stuff on, because... Carrying one cake at a time seems kind of counter... I did the same thing as earlier. You don't need the flour, that makes dough. Idiot boy. Oh, I can't even make it in advance because I've got to use the tray. Oh, okay. Well, that kind of sucks. I was kind of hoping I could make multiple, but it seems I only have one tray. That's fine. You can just wait for now. Don't eat until I tell you to, alright? I'm very strict about that. I don't like it when my customers eat until I tell them to. Okay, now you may eat. You now may eat. Oh, that was the first day. Wow, that was actually very good. I don't think I need anything right now. I don't even have the coins for anything right now. My character is beyond poor. They don't sell for much, do they? Wow. Yeah, I was thinking I was doing pretty well that day, but I made little to no money. That's a damn shame. 
Right, this way I remember to not just put flour on the side and knead it immediately. Oopsie. All right, mate. How's it going? Here for a cupcake, are ya? I hear they're popular around here. Don't know why I'm doing some weird sort of Somerset accent. No idea where that came from. I just thought maybe he might be interested in the old Somerset accent. Here they're quite popular around here. <laughs> I do like the aspect of not having to get plates. That's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. That's like, oh shit, the beds. Why did you do that? Maybe there's a design flaw of me putting this here. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> now the problem with having one tray as well is that now... Uh, I guess it's not too much of a problem. They can wait a little bit, right? But I still don't get a chance to cook multiple trays of food at once. I can get it set up in advance, which is okay, actually. To be honest, actually, this is quite nice. I've only had to serve like two customers. What, was that one customer for the entire day? This is a very chill, actually. There you go, chat. This feels a lot more chill than some of the other ones I've done, especially that um, speedrun game mode. That stressed me out to all hell. That stressed me out big time. I should get... A research desk eventually so I'm gonna bung this in the old cabinet that's the bin I should put the bin closer yeah put this in there that way there's no way I can mix up putting food in there by accident there is no way I make that accident not anymore I'm beyond those days those days are behind me I no longer chuck food in the bin by accident I'm a refined man I actually like the bakery because I feel like this is something that people have been asking for for a while. I've definitely seen people ask for more complicated recipes. So it's nice that there is actually just more compl complex recipes rather than simple ones. Because in a roguelike, simple ones are best. Like I always go for simple ones because it's, it makes the flow of the game go faster. Even though I still suck. I still haven't gotten past day 15. But it's still, still, you know, a lot chill to have a simple recipe like a burger or something, you know. But these, these, these cupcakes—they're a little bit more, a little bit more complicated to make, you know. A little bit more complicated. You gotta put your flour in, your egg in, your sugar in, and then you have to. Oops, you gotta cook some, cook some chocolate. Then you know, it's slightly more complicated than just chucking meat on a hob and putting it in a, putting it in a bun and serving it. If I could find a way to automate this, I'd be undefeated. But I'm not very good at automation in this game. I don't think I've ever successfully done automation in this. Aside from a time where I found out a way to cheese a Christmas update. Man. I'm pretty sure they patched that. But... <laughs> that cheesage was amazing. I don't think I was one to discover it, so I'm not going to take credit for that, but... That cheesage was amazing. Could literally put in a raw turkey and it will teleport through the conveyor and come out cooked. All we had to do was oh sponge cake. Provide six pieces of cake, add flavour after baking. Hope everyone wants chocolate. That's my motive as well. Hope everyone wants <laughs> the one thing that I'm cooking, because I'm not making anything else. It's interesting because now we don't have any sinks. Usually I wait to get a sink upgrade, but I've not needed a sink. Now what do I do? Well, I, when I want something to upgrade, what do I go for? i got so many options now. Do I need a mixer? Yes, I do. I'm going to put that in there. Boop. 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 Nope. To be honest, the sedative atmosphere isn't that bad compared to an entirely new recipe. I'm already on day 4, this has been obscenely chill. 
Here you go, sir. Take that. Oopsies. Didn't mean to... Take that. Take that. There you go. Good day. Get out of here. You've had your chocolate. You've had your cakes or your cookies or whatever these are meant to be. I'm pretty sure they're cookies. Now get out of here. One cookie per person. That's all I'm allowing. I actually really like... This might be my favourite thing to make so far in the game. Like, cookies are just really fun to make. I like how the cookies are just simply... Two massive lumps of chocolate sticking out a biscuit. <laughs> I know what you want, don't you worry, I got your number. You came here for cookies, did you? Surprise! I don't serve that here! Again, with the accent, I don't know where it comes from. I don't know where it comes from. Okay, we got 55. Would've been nice if they gave me a discount being a baker's and all, but... Hello, mate. You right? That took a while to cook, didn't it? Felt like that took a while to cook. Ding. Enjoy. Want some more cookies? Tough luck, you're not getting any. You can sniff it though. Have a sniff. Have a whiff of that. Alright. I'm just having a rave in here whilst I'm waiting for customers. Hello, guys. Welcome in. Welcome in. I'm having. Oh, I have to walk slow around you guys. It's a sedative atmosphere. But I'm still having a rave in here. Woo! Yeah, I have a rave in here. Anyway, here's your, here's your cupcakes. Okay, whoops. I kind of forgot you can't do that. Bit of a silly, silly thing. Anyway. In my kitchen, you guys don't bother me, so suck an egg. I have one right here for you. Right here. Again with the accent. I don't know what brings it out. I don't mean to do the accent. I actually don't mean to. I'm not even doing it on purpose. Sometimes the accent just comes out. Can I make it like a vanilla one or something? Like if I put it straight, if I put the mix straight on a tray without putting the chocolate in, would that just make it a normal cake or something? I wonder. Cake. Enjoy. And stop pissing on my side of the bloody counter. You don't need to be making all this mess. There should be no reason you make all that mess. Nice. That was a pretty good day, I think. Focus on customers to feel welcome. Focus on serving customers as quickly as possible. I do charming. It's a decoration day. I quite like decoration days. Decoration days are nice. Is that the same woods? No, it's not. My word is more mahogany. Mahogany. <laughs> mahogany. Birthday banner. Oh, because it's the anniversary of this game. Yes, this game is celebrating its one year anniversary, I think. Well, celebrating some birthday or some capacity. It's definitely not mine. Mine was a little bit ago game, but I appreciate the fool. I appreciate the fool. Game, you think I have a hundred coins to spend on decorations? Come on now. Be reasonable. <laughs> They're kind of like... <laughs> I like that. Put it up there. People can still see it. It's not in my way. Now I have a mixer. But now I'm completely poor. I've been rinsed because of that, so... Lol, time to get back into the mix. I spent all my money on my mixer. Do, 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 do. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to put this here, this here, this like this. And I put that in there. There we go. Okay, we're already on our way to automation. So what I think I need to do is I need to get a conveyor, a grabber, and then I need it to grab the bowl when I put it in there, bring it along a conveyor, put it on a mixer, and then have the chocolate meet onto it. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm planning it out, but I've never done automation in this game before, so I have no idea what I'm going to do if I'm being completely honest with you. I'm just kind of waffling. But I think that's something that can be doable, surely. That sounds right. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm like 85% correct with that. Enjoy. Ignore the multicolor walls. We got blue walls, we got beige walls, we got green walls. We got half the RGB here. 
minus the R. Well, the oh God, I done it again with the needing the dough. I don't need dough. I don't need to need dough. Maybe I should remember that. Don't need dough. I don't need to need dough. It's a good way to remember, I think. You're on your own, mate. Sad, isn't it? Why are you on your own? Buying a single cookie for yourself, are you? For you treat yourself, did you? Pathetic. Sorry, I didn't mean to insult him. I just felt felt compelled to, because my blunder would have needed dough from flour. I just felt like I had to take it out on someone else, you know. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it happens. Ding. Enjoy. It's actually really nice knowing that I don't need to have, like, there's no reason for me to go out there to clean up, you know? I feel like that's probably why I like this more as well, because there's no reason for me to do anything. I'm really just chilling out here. Donut? Donut is tempting, but... we do 25% more customers. I think we could do with more customers. This has been really chill so far. don't think I need anything. I'm pretty happy with what I got. The only thing I'd want right now is like a conveyor or something. Maybe the conveyor could go out this way and then across. And then I could serve it here. Because I have all this empty space up here. Loads of counters that lead to nothing. So I'm actually really enjoying this. I have a good thing about this run. We're on day 7. We're nearly at... Well, I was going to say we're nearly at day 15. We're nowhere near day 15. We're maybe just about under half. Or just about half way through day to day 15. I don't know if I'm ever going to get to overtime. We'll see. See, sometimes you have to be a bit... Be a bit pessimistic so that way you can raise your expectations when it goes right rather than being disappointed when it doesn't. See, there is some pros to being negative, which is ironic when you think about it. There's some positive outcomes that come from being negative. Like Usopp in Thriller Bark, when Perona used her horror, horror, her negative ghosts on him. He was already too negative, so it didn't affect him. <laughs> he was already such a negative person. The uh, the ghost had no effect on him. Negative. <laughs> There's no way a negative, negative ghost could affect someone who's already extremely negative. That's me of this game, you know? Say yourself low expectations, so when things go right, you can be surprised by it. I think that's a good way to look at it. I feel like that's a better way to do it. I had no idea I could do it like that. There might be people who are probably watching this on YouTube in the future who are screaming at me doing that. I do apologise. This whole time I didn't realize I could sit out on the table, so I couldn't do it the way I wanted to this entire time. But for some reason I'm just stupid, so I didn't think of doing it like that. Well now in theory I only need one tray. Go 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 and open. Perfect timing. Four cookies for me. Happy birthday! By the way, Perona has one of the most annoying laughs in One Piece. I don't know what it is, just every time I hear it, I just kind of like... Go, oh, Just I kind of cringe up a little bit every time I hear Perona's laugh in One Piece. All One Piece laughs are iconic, like her laugh is iconic. I feel like if I heard that laugh out of context, I'd know that was her, you know? i go, oh, that's Perona. But... I still, out of all the laughs I've heard so far, it's that one I don't like. And Hogback. Hogback has a pretty awful laugh. Again, not bad by any means. They're fantastic. They're, they're, extremely, they're extremely iconic. I'd recognize them immediately if I heard them. Just annoying. <laughs> they're just some of the most annoying I've heard in the show so far. I could go like full laziness if I wanted to. I could put the egg in the mixer and then put the egg in the bowl and then have the egg bowl in the mixer. That's like next level laziness though. 
Oh, they're wearing party hats because it's a, it's a celebration. I see, I get it now. My eyes are being opened. I didn't really clock onto that until just now. Because I knew. Wait. <laughs> I could be ultimate lazy. Ultimate lazy. Is this quicker doing it like this? I'm not really getting much done in the meantime, I don't think. And my brain sent it out. Saves me some time. Can I upgrade my mixer? Now, I know you've been waiting here longer, but... Oh. oh! Fuck. That's my karma. I went outside to talk to him when they made such a mess here. God, I need fucked up man run because I went outside. Note to self, never ever talk to customers in this game. They are making a pretty big mess on my side though, I'll be honest, it's quite upsetting. Okay, I don't think I'm going to do the tactic of laying it out all on the side. I'm going to do the tactic of just keeping the trays. I could probably upgrade the oven. But I think it would be a bit excessive if I had an oven that goes 200% of the power or whatever, or 100% of the power, 75% of the power for cookies. You know, they don't even need to be cooked that long. They just need to be cooked long enough. Although, what run was it on? Was it with the pies? Oh, for God's sake, same thing as last time. I don't remember what, I think it was the pies. I was cooking pies and the oven I had was perfect. Safety Hub is great for pies, microwave is great for cake. Good. There. This is what I want, so I want to start automating this. I think I could definitely automate it. Do, 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 do. And so, hello Omni, how you doing? Good, good to hear. Good to hear. My first time playing the the bakery update. I've not played play up in a in a in a while, so it's nice to be back playing this. I usually only like to play when there's a new update because I get a bit burned out quickly. So I'm just checking out the update, and I'm really I think the cookies are my favorite thing so far in the game. To cook, uh, to make. Personally, really like it. You just come to the, back to the game too. I prefer the new donuts. I've not tried the donuts yet. I did have the option to, but I didn't really want to. Because <laughs> I didn't want to have multiple uh, things to make. But I play a lot with the community card maps. Do you play with mods? Like modded recipes? And I saw there was like some modded recipes. Oopsies. Sorry, I'm going to have to take that from you. Because I served the wrong person. Feel bad for that guy. He had a cake in front of him and I just took it away from him. <laughs> Sorry, my slime. I don't think I've done the community cup maps before. Oh, wait, maybe I think I have. Was it Alpine one of the community cup maps? I think it was. Alpine or Autumn? One of them two was um, community cards. Don't use mods, but I might get one to help move items to the show in prep times. Autumn maps. Oh yeah, autumn map was it? That's right. You need to get out of here. Cause I got one customer left. I have not got any like recipes, modded recipes. The only mods that I have right now is just one to put my name above my character. Just so it makes it easier for people to keep up with which one is me. It's also helpful when I'm playing with um, my friends and stuff. You can see the names above the head so you can tell who's who. But it's funny because I've not actually played Play Up with friends since like Christmas, the Christmas update. I think that's the last time I played this game with anyone. And we've got a home. Oh, 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 oh
sponge cake. See, I'm one of the people where I, I prefer to have one recipe. So that way I know exactly what I'm doing so I can make it in bunches. Ooh, I do want some of these. Uh, oh, I didn't start the day. Uh, I don't have a grab or anything, so... I'm gonna save that. My current franchise starts with five fish, three pies, steak, turkey, nut roast, three soups, and sides. Wow. So I don't think I've... I've I, I think I had the option to start a franchise, but I didn't do it. So could, could you explain... What exactly a franchise does? Does it mean you can one name your shop permanently and two make it so that you can um, have different recipes throughout your playthrough? Am I correct in saying that? I think what makes this easier as well is I don't have to worry about plates. So that way there's loads of customers all forming up. I don't need to worry about cleaning up tables. They'll just come in immediately as soon as I clear a spot. Franchise after 15 days, select three cards from a nut uh, from that run to take into your next run. One is a special day 15 card. Right. Gotcha. Sorry, so I haven't done a franchise because I I realize I haven't gone beyond 15 days. I think my record is like 12 maybe? 11? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, those queues are starting to build up. It's fine. I got exactly enough here to serve everyone here. Actually, that's wrong. Oh, that queue is really packing up. I could really use some more tables. Probably should have went for the sponge cake, but I'm a bit stubborn with me only doing one recipe, so I'm going to die on that hill. If you ever lose before a day 15, it's deleted. Oh shoot, okay. I'm on the fifth cycle, so I started 14 cards. Okay. Uh oh. That's bad, I might die here. Quickly, 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 clear room, clear room. Oh, this is lo not looking good, Brev. This is not looking good, Brev. It's not cooking. He ain't cooking shit. Oh. Nah, it's not looking good. Yeah, eat it, quickly, 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 quickly. Go, 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 no! GG. Yeah. Ah, oh, nearly close to level 12 as well. Damn, I should have not went with 25% more customers. Because that was 50% more customers top it on to the other 25% as well. So that was rough. Should not have went with that. 